The new Renetti is absolutely amazing. It's definitely my favorite secondary to use in the game. And in fact, I've included it in all of my class setups as my secondary. And even as a primary, it does a lot of damage. In fact, this is actually the fastest time to kill class setup that you could ever put on the Renetti. So let's go over it really quickly. For my muzzle, I'm using that monolithic suppressor. This is going to give us that sound suppression as well as damage range. I do want to stay completely stealthy as much as we possibly can. Moving on, we've got the barrel. So this is a must have you must have this attachment right here it is called the mk3 burst mod it's going to increase that fire rate and it's also going to give you that three round burst every time you fire your weapon but that's not all so the next attachment that you definitely want to put on is the lightweight trigger so this is also going to increase your fire rate as well and when you combine the lightweight trigger and the mk3 burst mod it brings that time to kill when you're going for a headshot to 120 milliseconds that literally kills as fast as a shotgun except for it's in a pistol form which makes this gun absolutely amazing for ammunition i'm using that 27 round magazine no question you need as much ammo as possible especially if we're going to be using that burst mod we're going to be going through that ammo quite frequently for our perk we're going to be using the fully loaded perk now i very seldomly put perks on my weapons but for this class setup specifically you're going to need the fully loaded perk especially if you're the type to go on longer streaks you are going to find yourself running out of that ammo and of course you always want to run that munitions box now if you want to run a akimbo class setup i also did actually cover this in my previous video which is my 10 best class setups for season three for the perk obviously you want to put on akimbo here so for this one i removed the monolithic suppressor and for the rear grip i put on that speed grip so that our sprint to fire speed can be increased now yes it does include the aim down side speed pro but you know that's not what we're using this attachment for we're using it solely for the sprint to fire speed which is obviously what you want because you're coming from a sprint and you obviously do want to fire a lot faster when you're holding a Kimbo weapons i would rather actually prefer having the single renetti it's a lot more versatile in different situations you know you can engage in mid to long range combat if you wanted to but the only time i would really recommend it is if the enemy has his back turned on you or you've got really good cover this weapon can actually melt from long distance so that's why i would highly recommend and using the single over the akimbo that about wraps it up for the class setup guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's breakdown video make sure to leave a like if you want me to keep posting breakdown videos so i know exactly this is the content that you are looking for and subscribe if you're new around here man join turbo nation today make it official by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications so you never miss another video and i just want to say thank you for all the support it really means a lot to me and it's very motivating to see some nice comments in the comment section and i hope Hope you guys all have a nice day. Peace. All right, so here we are playing on St. Petrograd. I usually like to go around this way and I pre-aim down here, but I also did notice that there was a sniper over there. So I wanted to avoid him at all costs and I took the shortcut to get the easy kill. Now, I did pick up a kill in the middle, but I was outnumbered and I did die right there, but that's all right. It's just the beginning of the match. I'm still trying to get a feel for how these guys play. So I'm checking on the other side of the map because I saw a couple enemies here. So I did use that bus to my advantage. So as I turn this corner right here, I knew that this guy I was gonna go to the other side of the bus so I wanted to go ahead and try to quote unquote finesse this guy because I am using a pistol and with pistols your mobility gives you the fastest movement in the game so with that said I'm using that to my advantage I do slide across instead of just casually walk across to avoid those bullets and actually there is another guy here so I'm forced to make a move so right now I'm focused on the other guy that was on the other side of this bus that I am anticipating so what I do is I quickly jump and I get the kill right there. And there is this other guy right here. Now, this is a small little minor detail that you guys may not have picked up on, but it's very important when you're using something like a pistol. Now, right here, I knew that I was pretty much at a vulnerability because he was looking in my direction and I'm busy stim shotting. So at this point, I'm deciding to stagger my movement to make it harder for him to hit me because he's using a sniper and I'm well aware of that. And if I'm staggering my movement just like that, it's going to make it harder for him to go ahead and readjust his aim enough in time before I kill him. So I was able to kill him before he was repositioning himself. I know that the enemies keep spawning in here. And as you can see, I did do a bit of a slide cancel right there. So as I approach this corner, bam, 
I slid and I was able to get the opponent because the movement and the aim downside speed is a lot faster when you do a slide cancel. If you guys don't know how to do that movement, I'll leave a link in the description or a little card on the screen you can click on that will lead you to that video. So now I'm gonna play a little bit more cautiously now. As you can see, I'm aiming down sights very often and that's something that you do wanna do when you're using a pistol. And of course you don't wanna do it all the time everywhere you go, but just because you've got a pistol, it basically puts you at a disadvantage versus other weapons in the game that are also overpowered. So now I'm following these footsteps and it did lead me to that kill, but I knew that that wasn't that guy's footsteps. So I'm still being a little cautious. I'm checking for sound cues. I do hear some guy's footsteps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out the back here. He probably thinks I'm still up here. I come out through the back and I go ahead pre-aim and I get the easy kill. So instead of just, you know, walking casually around the corner, what I decided to do here is I jump just like this around the corner while I'm pre-aiming and I go ahead and fire my weapon because that makes me a harder target to hit. Anything that helps you survive in this game is definitely a good idea. Now I'm definitely pre-aiming a lot because I know that I'm surrounded by a lot of enemies. And if you guys haven't noticed, look at that mini map. That right there is a personal UAV that literally gives away the enemy's position. So right now I'm kind of just waiting and trying to hear some footsteps, audio cues, anything that'll help me. I see this guy coming up here. Wasn't able to get the kill right away and I'm being cautious still. I'm following his footsteps and there he is. It leads me to the easy kill. Now there is one more guy here because that personal UAV is still there. Enemy took out my teammate and I was just desperately trying to get the kill right there. And as you can see, there is other enemies in this area. It looks like the spawns have flipped. So I'm pre-aiming here for a moment. And I decide not to challenge that guy because I know that I'm not in the right position to go ahead and win that gunfight. So that's why I decided to get out of there. And instead, I'm just going to focus in on calling in my VTOL. And it's going to help us with the momentum for my team to win the match. I'm pre-aiming over here because I know for a fact that this is where the enemies are going to be coming from based on the positioning of my teammates on the minimap. And if you haven't noticed, if you look at the minimap, I'm always alone. I'm never bunched up with my teammates and I'm more likely to come across opponents and also get easier kills because the opponents do not expect you to be coming around for the flank. It's all about the element of surprise, especially when you're using a pistol. You definitely do want to remain as stealthy as possible. I did see this guy come across. I am two kills away from my uh, support helo. I do see that there's two guys here, so I quickly flee the scene. I use that bus momentarily. Another small detail that you may have missed. In this situation, I'm not going to challenge. It's all about being passive aggressive. Remember, we're using a pistol here. Yes, the Renetti has an incredible time to kill, but in this situation, we're outgunned right now. So instead of just running to the side along the wall, I'm actually going to run along this bus because I know if you look at this mini map here for better context, I know that there's an enemy right here and one right behind him. So if I were to just actually run and expose myself along the wall, I would be an easier target to hit because I'm trying to get away from the scene. It would be easier for them to shoot me in the back. So instead, I'm using this bus for my cover. See how I momentarily stop right there. Look at the minimap. Now I'm in front of the bus. I do know that I have a teammate here. So I'm going to quickly slide around the corner to get away from that situation because I, I, I want to stay on my streak. I'm really close to a support helo. So now I'm pre-aiming here. I'm just investigating the situation. I'm letting things unfold. I'm making sure that there's no enemies coming by. You know, it's better to have your eyes on the opponent than your opponent's eyes on you, especially when you know that they're around you. So there's this guy right here. And yeah, I was pretty much preoccupied with that situation. You know, I didn't expect two enemies to come out from that side right here. So let's just back it up really quick. I was already dead set on trying to kill this guy. I missed my shots mid air. And what I decided to do is I come around this side and teammate actually killed him already, leaving me with two enemies to face right now. So unfortunately, that's a bad situation for me. And I'm still trying to stick to the plan. You know, I don't let deaths really deter me from wanting to do good. So now again, I'm playing to what the game is giving me right now. So another thing you need to pay attention to is again, I always talk about this all the time. And this goes to show that this can be applied to any map in the game. So all my teammates are over here. So this tells me that the enemies are directly opposite of them. 
Now I also do notice some footsteps here. So I'm going to go ahead and investigate where these footsteps lead to. I did see that uh, the enemy actually died. So I'm going to pre-aim down over here because, you know, they've got to be in this area. So more likely than not, they will be. I don't even know why I even attempted to try to get that guy from long distance. Of course, that's another tip. Do not use this pistol from very long distance. You're just simply going to get outgunned. Try to keep your engagements up close and personal. And now I'm going to be waiting patiently here. Thought I heard some footsteps. Teammate just died outside. So I'm basically just letting the enemies make the first move. Now I did notice these footsteps. So I went ahead and got outside to see where they were. And as you can see, I did take out that guy. So now I know I'm deep in their spawn. I'm pre-aiming around every corner. That's another thing is remember to pre-aim with this gun. You always want to be ready for that gunfight. So now I'm going to investigate in here. I do hear some footsteps. Look at me just pre-aiming right there. And I was able to get that nice little sweet double kill. I do see more footsteps. I'm trying to capitalize on this. Try to get a streak going. I do see this guy out here. I could finish him off with uh, the couple bursts that I had left. But I did also have a C4. And I was trying to replenish my ammo at the same time. Now, let me pause it right here. At this exact moment, I know exactly where there's enemies right now. There's two enemies in the building where I was just at. So look at the arrows. There's arrows pointing up. That means that they're above me. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to put on my dead silence to be as stealthy as possible. I let this guy walk through. I didn't engage just yet. And as you can see, the sliding mechanic really does make a big difference, especially when you're using a pistol. Your movement's going to be so much faster. Now, a lot of the enemies are spawning in from this back area over here. So I'm just going to play the spawns accordingly. And I'm not going to push too deep. Now I'm stunned or flashed, I should say. So I'm going to try to get out of there as soon as possible. I'm going to go back upstairs. I know somebody's chasing right after me. I'm not even going to challenge him. I'm low health right now. Just wouldn't be smart. So I go ahead and I prop up right here. I wait and I'm going to call in my VTOL really quickly. I know it's safe. I've got a lot of teammates around me and I know this guy is in this building here somewhere. I did see those footsteps, but I'm not just going to, I'm not going to risk that. I, I want to get my support helo. So instead I go in through the middle lane right here. As you can see, we got a teammate here, teammates here, teammate here, and a teammate on the outer perimeter of their spawn. So that's why I'm going down this way. So I'm going to reload. I'm going to make sure I'm ready for the next gunfight. I'm going to go inside here because I know that there's an enemy in there. But first, I'm going to check their spawn. And there is one more guy out here, actually. I'd missed him. So now I'm going to come up here. And there he is just sitting in the corner. And that's why it's very important to slide around those corners. And if you don't know how to do that, definitely watch my video. So now we've got the support helo. I'm anticipating the enemy's movement. And now I'm just going to let my support helo pretty much do the work for me while I just continue to move around the map. I do notice that there is one guy here. This actually was something that I knew I shouldn't have done. Uh, but, you know, I got a little excited. I got my support helo. You know, it really just be like that sometimes. Uh, so, yeah, guys, uh, the gameplay is coming to an end right now. I hope you guys are enjoying these breakdown videos and I hope you do learn something new. If you guys have a special request, if you guys have a special request of exactly what you want me to cover, let me know down below in the comments. And if you want me to break down your personal gameplay so you can get some personalized tips on how you could improve, there's going to be a submission link to submit your gameplays and I'll go ahead and review and give some tips and tricks on what you can do to improve on your own gameplay so yeah guys leave a like on this video support the channel and subscribe if you're new around here we are less than 500 subscribers away from 85k subscribers i'd really appreciate it if you guys join the turbo nation today and make it official and i will see you guys on the next video man peace